Hello everyone, and today we are going to do something for the sheep. They need a barn. Four things have been out in the weather all this time. And as you see, they are mostly purple and black because we are harvesting those particular colors in mass for a build that uh, RC is working on. So anyway, that's why we have black and purple sheep everywhere. Looks like we have a couple of pinks that escaped getting rain on. Um, before we start, I want to let you know that uh, I am using the internet for some ideas. I did Google and I clicked on images and I just typed in sheep barn. And this is one of the things that came up. And no, I'm not going to duplicate it exactly, but I am going to go basically with this shape. And then on this one, I like the inside here, and this looks like it's open. So we're going to kind of mix that up. No, these are not original ideas. There are probably other videos out there with this same concept uh, or a very similar concept. I started watching uh, B-Dub. I... Uh, recently discovered B-Dub and Coralius and um, just to let you know he uh, I watched a video of his about a barn and I'm not going to do that particular style of barn but I probably will be using his chicken coop because <laughs> it looks pretty cool but um, the thing is apparently he gets a lot of people that are upset because they claim that he used someone else's idea for a barn or whatever. You know what? Barns are barns. <laughs> it's the basic structure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to go up to eight. And I'm just doing this all in oak. I've got oak logs, oak planks, oak slabs. And I did my outline in coarse dirt so that it wouldn't uh, turn into grass on me. I wanted to be able to see it. One, two, three. Did I do that three? No, I didn't. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if I can count to eight properly. What do you know? Looks like I did. But anyway, um, it really surprises me how often I watch YouTube videos on builds two three sorry I can't do this and count same time four five six seven and eight and I hear the youtuber make comments about how they got chastised one two three four five six seven eight they got chastised for their projects looking similar to someone else's <laughs> Well, like I said, a barn is a barn. You know, there's, <laughs> it's a big building for the animals. And yeah, you can do some variety. You can use different mats. You can, uh, we're going to do this one. We're going to go up. Uh, let me see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me see, let me see, let me see. And yeah, I'm not very good at talking and thinking at the same time. I'm sorry. If I get quiet, it's because I'm, my brain's trying to process something. And uh, at my age, it takes a minute. It takes a little bit of effort. All right, let's see. need this to come up to the center. Well, that's awfully high. 
that's an awfully high point. No, I think that's going to look right. We'll go right there. Hmm. No, I think that's a little too high. What do you think? Let's take this down a couple of rows and see what it looks like. And yes, as you can see, I'm doing this in creative mode. I actually play survival mode more often than not, but I don't know. I really wanted the point. Let's, we're going to go ahead and go up. We're going to go ahead and go up with the point. With the, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and use that. But anyway, I do usually play in survival mode, but uh, for one thing, I have other worlds that we're playing right now on my realm server. We have three different maps loaded, and this one is resource heavy. I have the resources jacked so that uh, basically diamond is about as easy to get as coal. And uh, then I have a map loaded up in realms where the resources are so rare that uh, it's pretty much 99% cobblestone and dirt. And if you're lucky, you might find some iron once in a while or coal once in a while. It does have some resources, but they're very hard to find. Okay. So that is centered. Let me. But anyway, uh, what I was saying was, and I have brought this up before in. Um, let's uh, let's go down. I really suck at flying. You can tell. You can, you can tell that. Uh, I just don't do creative mode often enough. There are some people who can just zoom around all over the place and it's so smooth but not me I'm a survival girl most of the time for video builds though I like to do creative just because my videos tend to run way too long anyway and if I'm not trying to build scaffolding and I'm not trying to climb and jump and keep from falling and blah 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 it does save some time so, all right, so the whole point of that was to see how high we need to go for this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, that's thirteen so far. Fourteen, fifteen, and then the top makes sixteen. Okay, that's good. That's right. That's right. Okay, because it basically doubles that one. So eight for the the corners, and then my support posts are going to go up from the floor to the roof. Uh, it'll be sixteen. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, um, it really surprises me how often <laughs> how often I hear these youtubers are getting fussed at because their ideas don't look unique enough I guess and they're like oh well you must have stole that design from so and so or oh you must have stole that design from so and so and it's like okay you gotta have a little bit of realism here and uh, really stop and think about what you're saying because, uh, first of all, I don't know about everybody else, but uh, the reason I put my stuff on the internet 
is for it to be seen. <laughs> and if somebody likes it, um, I would certainly hope they would use it. So, you know, that's just me. All right, I want that to go. So anyway, I don't know. I just, I really don't understand why these uh, comments get made about, well, you stole someone's idea and you stole this idea and you stole that idea. And it's like, if you don't want somebody to see your ideas, and you don't want somebody to use your ideas, you probably shouldn't do a YouTube video on how to build them. Just saying. You want to keep it a secret? Keep it a secret. You share it, people are going to use it. And to me, <laughs> if somebody actually thought something I did was good enough to, to be used, and they did a video on it, I would be flattered. And no, I would not expect to have my name mentioned in the link and blah, blah, blah. And the reason for that is, oh, poopsie do, we're off. Well, we'll just come up and do this. Um, Personally, I watch way too much YouTube to know exactly who I saw what. Who I saw do what. <laughs> it would just be impossible. It would be impossible. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. So, let's do this side. And no, I'm not very fast at this, as you can see. Like I said, I'm usually in survival mode and all this flying around business is not my forte. I think I like it. All right, we need to bring it out. So let's bring it out about. Uh, ma -ha -ma -ha -ma. We want this to be extended quite a bit. This is an awfully big building, so let's bring it out. Let's bring it out too for now and see how that looks. I think that's what I want. Okay. Yeah, we're going to bring that out too, all the way down. So let me get this going again. Oh, stop it. Oh, I really suck at flying. Really, 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 really suck at flying. Hmm. 
Corrales even has a uh, series that he does that he calls it an inspiration series. <laughs> the whole point of an inspiration series would be what? To be inspired. Inspired to do what? Um, try those builds. Try those styles. So, I really, I don't understand why these people get into the comments and decide they have to be hateful. Really don't understand it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a what the wants. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, so... And I realize that uh, not everybody wants to watch me do every single block. And I totally understand that. Feel free to fast forward. I uh, will not mention the YouTuber's name. Because they actually have some pretty good videos. And even if I did not like what they did, I'm not the kind of person that's gonna like trash talk somebody and try to slander them and that kind of thing they make some pretty good videos for the most part but um, I got really frustrated last night I really want an automatic tree farm for my world I really really want that but I'm quite frustrated at the moment because the ones that I seem to be able to find are only, they will only do oak um, or they'll only do oak and birch or, you know, I realize acacia would be difficult because it grows all wacky do. But, you know, spruce, birch, oak, um, even the single jungle, they all, they all can, they can uh, grow in a single trunk. So I don't understand why these automatic tree farms that people are, have built are only working for oak. Now, that does not mean that I have found every single possible one but you know you watch so many of them and after a while your eyes just start crossing and you just can't stand it again and I really got frustrated because and it was my own mistake my own mistake I uh, first of all I totally suck with redstone so to build anything like that for me is a major challenge and uh, so I went to the trouble of going through and I would watch the video and I would pause it and I'd tab over and I'd do what it said. And then I'd pause it, I'd tab over and I'd do what it said. And um, that gets really tedious really quick. And I would lose my focus. I was probably too tired to be messing with it to, for the first place. I probably should have waited until it was not two o'clock in the morning. But, uh, so I got a little frustrated with it. And, um, finally got it built and tested it and it didn't work. And so I went through the video again and again and again trying to figure out what I did wrong and it actually looked like I did everything the way I was supposed to do it although at one point they did cut out the video to add uh, some blocks and no they were not a big part of the build I mean it was just the uh, uh, blocks that get pushed up to force the tree up or the trunk up whatever but, 
for people like me, we need to see every step. We need to see every step. You can't be skipping stuff because uh, we need to see it. Well, not only, and that was the only time they did that. And like I said, in reality, it was not a major technical move they did. But it could be, you know. So anyway, I spent all that time doing that build. Couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to work. Couldn't get it to work. And I tore it apart and fixed it. Tore it apart and fixed it. Check this. Check that. And I finally, finally got smart enough to check the comments to see if anyone else had had problem getting it to work. And, of course, it did not work with 1.8. So, it was all for nothing. But anyway, I don't like it when YouTubers cut out everything. They're like, oh, they're going to think this is boring, so I'm just going to cut this out. Well, they're not going to want to watch me do that, so I'm just going to cut this out. Well, this is going to make the video too long, so I'm just going to cut this out. Well, you know what? <laughs> if we want it cut out, we can always fast forward. At least that's how I feel about it. I No, I don't want to watch somebody mine for four hours. No, I really don't. But uh, a lot of the YouTubers that do that, if they don't pause it and break the video, they will at least put it in fast forward. I'm good with that. I don't like to watch myself mine for three hours. I put Netflix on in the corner. Or I go grab a DVD and I watch a movie or I watch a... TV series that I have on DVD and mine to my little heart's content. So, I, yeah, I don't want to watch somebody else mine for three hours. Feel free to fast forward that. But when it comes to the other stuff, uh, yeah, I think YouTubers are sometimes a little overly cautious about their video lengths. And they don't realize that a lot of us out there, we want to see every block placed. People retain information differently. And I am not by any means stupid, believe it or not. Now, I don't always make the greatest decisions. And uh, there's uh, <laughs> quite a few times I do things and I've been like, why? Why did I do that? Why did I say that? Why would I even think that for a split second? That makes no sense whatsoever. We all have our brain farts. But uh, some of us, we need to be able to watch the step by step. So, for you big time YouTubers out there, stop that. Let us see it. Let us see it. But uh, this build that frustrated me so badly, they just went so fast. Oh my gosh. They went so fast. So fast. And somebody made a comment, can you slow down just a little bit when you do your videos? And the response was, there's a pause button. True. True. There is a pause button. They are right. They are most certainly right. There is a pause button. But, um, I still think he needed to slow down. And no, it wasn't me that posted the comment. Although, I happen to agree with it. Because, yes, I do realize you can slow the mo the video down, but uh, it's still difficult when it goes too fast. Because it's like you're, 
they're like, okay, well, now all you got to do is blah, 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 blah. Now, to go to this next section, all you got to do is blah, 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 blah. You go, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me get the first but. Hang on a second. So not only do you have to pause it and tab out and come back and pause it and tab out and come back, but uh, you got to keep finding your place. You got to keep backing it up because they go so freaking fast that uh, it's just too much. It's, it's just too much. Now, I probably don't need to go this slow for this kind of a build. It's pretty simple. There's a lot of repetition. But uh, especially when you're doing a redstone build, those things can get really complicated really quick. And especially for some of us who uh, are not skilled with it anyway. Okay, so we have that half. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. All right. Actually, I need that there. And I do apologize if my camera spinning gets nauseating. I really try to keep that to a minimum. I am not always successful at it, but um, I do think about it. But yeah, I usually, uh, I really do prefer survival mode over creative. But uh, like I was saying, we have uh, this world, the resources are just, I mean, even the diamonds just basically drip down the walls. And uh, so the resources are <laughs> plentiful, plentiful, plentiful. And then you have uh, we have Angler's Paradise, which is very, 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 very limited resources. I basically went into the options and went down to the bottom. I believe Lapilazuli is the uh, last one listed. And I did that one for one. Then I did Diamond 2 for 2 and... Redstone three for three and then gold four for four And basically as you can see there's a pattern. I just increased it going all the way up But uh, I mean I didn't just reduce the ores. I reduced the granite the andesite the diorite even the gravel The only thing that remained plentiful was dirt and cobblestone. Oh great. My phone is ringing And I need to take this call. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'll start it right back up in a minute. Thank you very much, and I hope you'll come back.